everybody, welcome to Mega Truck Omenix. Let's play of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And in the previous episode, I got cut off pretty bluntly, so it only lasted a minute, surprisingly. I'm not sure if I'll upload that video, but let me just surmise this. Once you're at Hyrule Castle, you can use the warp to come to the woods. And once you're in the woods, a little cutscene happens, and I was like right at the beginning of that cutscene so let's continue with the cutscene and, and there's Lisa here. and let me stop for a second okay let's just continue with this and we have to go save Lisa now the main reason my recording stopped so soon is because I wanted to find out what I named the monkey, and I found out that I named the monkey Lisa by going to the beginning episodes. So for those of you who don't know, that monkey's name is Lisa. I named her that. We just killed living All puppets. four of them in one blow. Hey Lisa, let's talk. Did, did you save me? Thank you. Listen, since you're so nice, there's some, I'll tell you something. There's a really pretty wooded area on the other side of this cliff. I climbed over there, but when I got, tried to go deeper into the woods, those guys attacked me. What's in those woods, anyway? Now, what she's saying does have kind of some truth. And now we can actually talk to Lisa and such. We we could also talk to the parrot, but we won't be able to buy from him. Why? Oh, yeah, we're a wolf. <laughs> yeah. Well, we could pay him for stuff, but we won't be able to get anything. Alright, let's go. See, this is why we need Minda, and why, um, eh. I had to move Navi, or the weird fairy that is my cruiser, away, so it wouldn't bug me. Get the freaking bats, Link. Don't be loot useless. That's it. There we go. There he goes. Stupid bat. Okay, now the game won't be nearly as forgiving as it is now. Like right now, we have this since we're a wolf and we can't really get around uh, without it. But right now, the game is being pretty forgiving. Unfortunately, uh, when we, c if we ever come back here, it will not be nearly as forgiving. And I am not joking when I say that. You also have to be careful of these swings. They're quite dangerous. One hit knocks you off the cliff. And, you and if you go over here, we can listen to this. Da dum dum dum. Let's see, where was this song? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to have, I feel like I have to label all the songs and what Legend of Zelda game they're from. This would be the the song for Lake Hi that transports you to Lake Hylia from Orcrean of Time. I'm not sure the exact name. But if I actually learn how to edit my videos properly, I will go back and have like an awesome mix of all the howling songs which would be awesome but I'm pretty sure I, I'm sure somebody's already done it I would like to do it but my recording or my um, editing software sucks and it is not acceptable to YouTube I know this from experience I've already heard this song before, so therefore I know. I had a Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Sheesh. No, it's just hard to get this song right without messing up. Ah! My numchuck was not being numchuck Norris. <laughs> My numchuck was not being numchuck Norris. It's, it's a song, quiet. Epic Harmony. While the Epic Harmony is going, we're supposed to be quiet. Co eh, not Coco. 
Kit Kat. Kit Kat. My name's Coco. Let the teachings of old be passed on to you. Take sword in hand and find me. So you see, right now he'll be at the back end of Hyrule Castle. Who wants to take a bet? Anyone? Anyone? Back end of Hyrule Castle. Oh, snap! Yeah. Basically, uh, in that little cutscene, he was right next to the uh, picture of the castle, which explains wha where he would be land when he jumped off the cliff. I think I never found out what happens if you get one of the songs drunk, but I think he goes, you're not ready to learn this song. Or maybe as you try again over and over until you get it right. We're at the Sacred Grove. This is where Lisa was attacked by those puppets. And we will find out why. Does this sit look familiar? Oh. Everybody listen to, just listen to this music. Saria song, I believe. I'm gonna go away from the whistling thing. Yeah, I can't get away from it. Now this is the song that dance the Goron would dance to, which I found like Oh wait. Okay. One second. My bad. Now that you say that the wolf thing is difficult, I've been messing up. Kit Kat, why are you bringing me bad luck? If you bring me bad luck, you will not be in my videos. I'm not joking. How is that my fault? Because you're the one who got me out of focus! He can't really hit the high notes because howling's supposed to be deep and resonant. So therefore, that's why he did the low ha harmony part. And uh, this is the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess's version of the Skull Kid. And he has puppet things that are really creepy. And he is very creepy. Yes, he is. I, uh, you can always find him because he has the horn that plays. He might be have uh, been uh, the next version of the Skull Kid from Majora's Mask, but that one had like a duck bill. Minda, don't yawn while I'm talking. The puppets come when he plays his horn, so therefore you, if he plays his horn, uh, you should be able to find him because of the puppets. I believe he should be over here. He teleports. He, he, mag he uses magical leaves to teleport. You see, he isn't human, so therefore he's not technically bound by human limits. Therefore, he can do it like whatever. He Wait, did I go through the wrong door? Did she just. Okay. I went through the right door. Once the thing swing, they'll leave you behind for a bit. Get up! You see, once the, you're at a level above them, they can't really get you. However, if you go to their level, then they can get you. Fudge. After a while, they disappear. Or that, or he just used... Found him! Dang it, dang it, dang it! Up, 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 up! I'm hitting you. There we go. So you can always find him by his trumpet sound. Or his lantern. Nope. Trumpet. 
Yeah, Minda. No matter how many times you defeat those things, they keep coming back, Coco. I know! You have to lay down a field of dark energy and beat them all at once. Eh? Yes, but we don't want it. Ah, uh, Fudge, where'd he go? Where'd he go? He was on land, so he went through this. Why do you think I'm going over here? Is this back where we began? There he is. Ah, my computer is uh, gone out back to its saver, screen saver. Nom, nom, nom. What are we doing? If you aren't paying attention to this game, you should have already finished this game. Yeah. On your own coat, uh, on your own Kit Kat. I'm not doing any boss battles for you right now. No, 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 I can't be here. Just a tear. I'm barely at the forest temple, and it took me a week just to get the boss. Are you kidding me? I can finish this whole game in a day. Unfortunately, I can only record at night, which sucks. Yes, but it would take like a night and a day to like edit everything. I do not use my editor. One second, I have to give Kit Kat some hard lecturing because she does not seem to hear anything I tell her. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> I'm tired. Dang it! Dang it! Why? No! Finally! See, once you hit him, all the puppets die. Oh, finally, the stone wall. Okay, the stone wall is kind of important. It kind of symbolizes the last of this area. And then you go on to a new area. And voila. See, it's completely different. Not a lot of trees. The only problem is, now we have to deal with him. And he's angry now, isn't he? You just realized I was here now? See, he's angry. Why are you laughing if you're angry? You are very strange, Mr. Skullkid. Basically, what I do is I ignore the puppets and go straight after the Skullkid. Dang it! Got you. Each time, each time, I think he'll summon more puppets. You have to get to him while he's blowing his horn. Dang it! Dang it! Oh, yay! I got him. No dang it. Go yay!
Okay, sorry if I'm not really talking about it. I'm trying to focus on survival. Yeah, I got him! That's not the last we'll see of him for now. I have no idea how my health healed from like two hearts to three. Oh yeah, I have to get another fairy soon. Since the screen has gone white, it symbolizes we are in a new area. And the puzzle I have been dreading about for a very long time is finally here. I'm so glad I made a cheat sheet beforehand. Supposedly, that little cutscene showed you how to do it, but no, it doesn't. It does not. We are guardians of this land. Guide us to where we once stood. Only then can you enter the true sacred grove. Now, for the cheat sheet that I got, which is I watched a video and saw someone else do it, it's a very confusing cheat sheet, but I believe we're supposed to go this way. Then we go down. Then we go all the way across. Then we go up. Then we go over here. Now, if they stomp on you, which they can, you can position them to stomp on you. But if they stomp on you, it's game over. Okay, up. Up. Let's see. Sorry, it's kind of confusing. I think you can get it. Then you go up. Ta da! And then they do a weird circle dance, and then they stop. And voila! We can now enter the sacred grove. That took took fa that was faster than I thought it would be. Now I go to the sacred place, beast. Do not call me a beast. I am a wolf. There is a difference. We yield passage to the sacred grove. Num num. num. Let's go turn back into a human. The Master Sword. Come on, turn me human, turn me human. Yeah. Awesome cutscene time. And automatically our sheath ch changes. The thing that holds the sword. The sword accept accepted you as its master. Just because we're so awesome. We're just that awesome. We're just so awesome. 
We have the master sword now! This thing is the embodiment of the evil magic Zant cast on you. This de is definitely... this. Mm, it's definitely different from our tribe's shadow magic. Careful, if you touch it, you'll turn back into a beast. This thing's too dangerous. It's probably best if we leave it here, huh? But on the other hand, if we kept it, you could transform into a beast anytime you wanted. Which means we can warp up just about all the places we've ever been to. And and since Santa was kind enough to give th this to us, I think we should be thankful and use it all we can. And yes, it's very helpful. If you need it, just call me. I, I want to keep a low point profile so I'll hide in your shadow when you're human but I can change you whenever you can be a wolf anytime you like also thanks to this thing you can warp wherever you want from switching into a wolf form but listen Coco I've got a favor to ask would you mind coming with me to the to find something called the mirror of twilight hidden somewhere in Raul and high rule now this symbolizes the second half of the game, pretty much, where we try and find the mirror toilet. Before, we were just trying to find her headpiece th stuff. Now we're actually trying to find something else. Oh uh, yes, the mirror toilet, our last potential link to Zent. Yeah, computer. Sure, I'll help. Especially if you could turn me into a wolf whenever I want. Now this is so, this is why I like Minda much more than I like Navi. Because Minda is so much more helpful, she can turn me into a wolf. Whenever I want. Now, there are there is a bug, a certain bug in here that if you go in here and you use the claw shot, you'll get right there. The other bug we will not get for a very long time. In the other direction. So basically, since one bug is on that side of the stairway, the other bug would be here. But it's not currently at the moment. Oh well. I guess we're never coming to this place again. Hint, hint. Now that we're done here, I would recommend warping out of here. Because if you go back over there, you go to the where the, we fought this um, skull kid. And basically, in order to fight the, the skull kid, we had to jump off a cliff to get there. So we can't really go back up after we do that. Yeah, I think we're good to warp. You see, when you warp, you automatically transform into a wolf. So, let's see. Where do I want to go? Let's go to Hyrule. Just because they have the little wolf there. I also... Wait a minute. Let me think. I kind of... Let's see. There was a bug... Where was it? Yes. There's a bug I missed, and I said I'd get it after I got a certain item. That item would be the claw shot. So now that we're finally human and that we can use the claw shot outside of the temple. I think it was here. Yeah, you can't do really do that now, can we? So let's go here. You can also go to the map and say you want to go through a portal instead of talking to Minda. Because Minda will just bring out the map and then you'll just click a portal and then you go to there. Let's think. Okay, I want to go this way. Also at night, Poe's come to Hyrule Field and Hylia Lake and all over. So if you want to help Giovanni, I'm not sure if I'm going to help Giovanni. It all depends on my viewers and if 
they, if I have enough people voting yes to help Giovanni, the guy who was turned into gold through greed, personally, I think if he... Oh! Okay, yeah. how did you know we were wolf? Greetings, Mr. Coco. I've come to deliver a letter. It's a letter from Telma. My business is concluded. Onward to mail. That was a very, very diligent mailman. He recognized me as a wolf. Transform into a wolf. Sorry, I kind of like being a wolf. It's kind of fun for me. I could always just ride a pony everywhere. That was kind of pointless. Let's see, it should be around here. Now that we have the Master Sword, it's easier to get- uh, dip. You know what? I feel like I should get a Pona and get on top of her so then I can have a better view of up there. But right for now, I'll transform into a wolf. And we can actually talk to the Pona as a wolf. If I can find this, the plant, that would be very helpful. There's a plant. While we howl, because our howling is so beautiful, no enemies attack us. You can see that little pyramid thing in the background? Yeah, Zant did that, unfortunately. Let's talk to Epona. Just because I feel like it. Even though you change shape, I still understand you. Coco, hurry up and return to your true self. See? We can talk to Coco. Now, I did see a sparkle over there. No, that's just a bomb guy. Thank you, Minda. Let's see if I can remember exactly where it is. If I can just see the bridge. Okay, I remember exactly where it is. There's one bug. So it has to be over here. That's the bug we already caught. Now I have to find the lake and the bridge. Here it is. is sounding over here but I can't oh I'm sure I saw it Now if I could, I would get like a better angle so I could be above there so I could see it. Now the bug up here is kind of moving so I can't really see it. I just know it's there. 
Um. Oh dear. hear it. Is it somewhere else? I think I see it. There's a lantern over there, that's a pal. If I can just get it. Dang it! I can see it! Sorry, I have to try and pinpoint my location as close as possible. Yes! Dang it! Oh, thank fudge, I got it. Right before the dogs came. Now, I'm not sure if I'll actually get the Poe, but since I'm here, might as well, huh? Yeah. I was running right to a corner! Do not hit my horse. That'll be the last mistake you ever do. Mind if I'm let's go. Yep, that's a Poe. I'm not gonna get rid of it right now. Only if uh, I have uh, like maybe five people, since I have very few subscribers. If I have five people vote yes to help Giovanni, I kind of think he deserved his fate. But if five people sympathize with him, then I will do it. If I have five naysayers or five people who say no before five people say yes, then I will not help Giovanni in a bonus episode. I have very few subscribers, but if, like, after a while I do get five people to vote yes, then I will gladly do it. But I'm pretty sure I won't, and that's luck. There's a little special side quest to get some routes unlocked so it's easier to travel. Ah, don't hit me. Now that we have that bug, let's see. What other bugs? Uh, no, wrong one. Okay, I need to find the ant. Where were you found? 
found at the Great Bridge. So, where are you? You're... Bridge of Elden. Can I look at the map while I'm here? So, in between the Bridge of Elden and that... Okay, in between the Bridge of Elden, which would be, be this little Hyrule field, but no, that's part of the Bridge of Elden. So that would be in between these two bridges. That would be this one, right? Golden butterflies. Yeah! I remember. Come on, let's get some our some golden butterflies. Oh thank fudge, I have arrows. Oh yeah, you can get up there now with the claw shot if you want right now. I'm kind of more focused on getting bugs. Sorry, I'd like to get bugs during Let's Play so I wouldn't have to, you know, tr backwards travel. Because backwards traveling can get kind of annoying. Just hear it from me. Traveling, uh, traveling all the way around to places you've already been to is kind of annoying. While as traveling to places you have been to, but unfortunately you weren't able to get the bugs there before, is kind of different. There are some places where if you're not vigilant enough, you will have to pay in order to get back there. And wait. I deflected it even though I wasn't even trying to. Dang it. Oh! Oh snap. Oh snap. Oh dang, this episode's going on. Where like ever. I'd like to open most pathways before I have to use them. This one's a special path that leads like around the Bridge of Elden. I'd like to open it up now. Oh, there are lithoids here, or lizard things here. Ta-da! We're at this little northern section of Hyrule Field, which is exactly where I wanted to go, even if I took a different path. Sorry, Pawn, if I hit you. Bug, 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 bug. Oh, wait, do we already get. Oh, no, we're good. Let's see. Have we gotten the other stag beetle? Here we go, stag beetle. I thought there were butterflies here. I might be thinking of something else. Okay, where's the other stag beetle? This one was found on this side of the water. The other one should be on the other side, shouldn't it? There are Poes around. If I really want to help Giovanni, I'll make it a bonus episode. Just because I don't really like Giovanni. He doesn't really do much to help you, I think. He th he's rich, though, so if you're trying to get money, fighting Poe's would be a good suggestion. Finding bugs is also a good suggestion to earn money. I would personally rather go around looking for bugs. Oh yeah, it's turning into day, so the song turned off. So I'm listening super intently so I can hear if I pass the bug or not. Okay. Doki. Turns out the bug must be on the other side. The Poe will disappear after a while. Once the music starts. No. Nah. 
Um, sorry that this episode is kind of longer than usual. I'll have to end the episode here. Or, one second. Let me go to Hyrule Fields to visit Talma and such. I'll find the other stag beetle when I get around to it. I'll watch someone, el someone else's Let's Play and find out where all the bugs are, so that would help. Now, what's in Hy this side of Hyrule Field, there are butterflies here, which I plan on getting later. Later, as in being the- yeah, down, down, down. I'm gonna quickly go to Hyrule Field, save, and quit. Because I believe my recording session is long past its due date. Or its end date, which I should- probably stop recording soon because it's getting super late. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And in the next episode, we will talk to Talma and find out what she has for us and read her letter. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.